Yeah, hi there. These comments are again for Gigi, and I am Michael, the founder, owner, and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven-step system to pass a TOEFL IBT. So if I remember correctly, <coughs> excuse me, you sent me an email. Your TOEFL score right now is around 72, and you want to get a score of 95, and uh, I gave... I think I did a video giving you some comments on some things you're going to have to do over the next few months in order to improve. So let's say what let's read what you're saying. You say when I took the test, it was before I. Uh, you need to have past tense here because you say took. It was before I started to have classes in English. Don't need a comma here in the finance field. And to make this a little less formal, I would probably say, therefore, I did not have, I would just say, good contact with the language at that time. I would say this, it has been three months not made but took it has been three months since I took the test and I would probably say instead of four during and during this time I have been having a deep contact with the language due to my I would probably just say here, English exchange studies. You don't even need to say this idea here. Actually, I didn't. Once you use didn't there, you, <laughs> you need to use the uh, base form there. I didn't prepare enough. for the test and here to avoid that comma splice there I would probably say here but but I just practiced four different simulations that I had I would put here bought word order problems there bought in a book so you say so I would say here is you're not using exactly the same grammar here as a result my last doubt is if you think that now after all because you have a plural noun there, you have to say this, these. Remember, this and that are for singular nouns. These and those are for plural. You say, as a result, my last doubt is, if you think that now, after all these improvements that I've been having with the language, which I feel is so much, Uh, this is I'm struggling with trying to put this idea together. I'm going to be honest with you. You have a lot of language issues here. You're not going to solve all this stuff in one month. It's just not going to happen. So you're going to need to work with the language probably for several months, maybe three months, four months, maybe even five months. I cannot say for certain. But if you have these kinds of problems when you're speaking and writing, your score is not going to be very high. And that helps explain why your score right now is 72. Um, let me see if I can straighten this out. My last doubt is if you think that now, after all these improvements I've been having with the language, which I feel is so much, Yeah, you got a 
Uh, I'm just going to forget this for right now. It's too too many tr too much trouble. So I'm able to focus on intensive English preparation of at least four hours a day within a period of one month and retake the test. How about this? What if you said this? If you think that now I will be able to improve my score from maybe 72 to 95 a period of one month maybe here you could say something like this and say in fact I'm able to focus on intensive preparation I'm able to focus on intensive preparation for at least four hours daily in a period of one month and retake the test and achieve my goals you want to say here which are or just say goal and then say which is which is to improve at least 20 points. Thank you much for your attention and your feedback. I'm going to say no. I, I really don't. I don't see you as solving these problems in one month. You just have too many language issues. I'm just judging my response right now based on the uh, the email that you just sent me. I mean, you just saw me go through and make all these corrections. I mean, I mean, how long do you think it's going to take? I mean, usually when you have basic grammar problems like this, you have to work with the language for several months before you get to the proficiency needed to get that 95 or higher. 95 is a whole different ball game, right? So I'm going to stand by the same, the same thing that I said before. I, I think it's... You, you're looking at about three, probably even four or five months of very intense study. If you're studying four hours every day, you can probably reach a fairly high level of English ability in about three or four months. Now, what you can do is, if you want, I mean, if you want to take a practice test, you know, 30 days from now, you can do that. I would do the practice test before you spend the $200 and take the official TOEFL exam and just find out your score is only 79. So my my experience is, GG, most students improve their scores between 5 and 10 points for each month that they study and normally it's closer to 5 points not 10 points. So I don't I don't know how you're going to be different from the thousands of other students that I've taught that I've had contact with Remember, I've been teaching TOEFL now for over 22 years, so I have a pretty good idea of the progress and the time involved and the practice and everything you have to do, and especially reading what you wrote me and making the corrections in the email that you wrote me, that even confirms my belief even more that you need more than one month, I think, to, to uh, reach your goal. All right, sorry for the bad news there, but anyway, thank you for your comments, and all the best to your high-scoring TOEFL success.